There's loads of different reasons why you might want to hide a section on Squarespace. Let's say you're a designer and you want to see what a page will look like without a certain section in. Let's say that section isn't quite ready to go live on um, a client's site. And so you want to get rid of it until it is ready. There's two different ways that we can do this. One uses code and one uses the brand new saved sections feature. As I said, there's two ways that we can do this. So the first one is with saved sections. Let's say that this particular section that we're looking at here, we want to get rid of only temporarily though. So what we do is we click the heart up here, which adds the section to our saved section bank. So we'd click this, and then what we would do is we would remove the section. So this would allow us to go live with the current site or show a client what the website looks like without this particular section. Let's say, okay, you know, we're ready to go forward with the section. What we would do is go into edit again, and then we would go add section, we'd go into saved sections, and then we'd add that section back in. This is going to be the best solution for the vast majority of people. But a lot of my clients will have code that targets a particular section or blocks within that section. So when we get rid of a section and then we reinstate it using saved sections, the section IDs and the block IDs will all change, meaning any specific code that targets those sections or blocks is removed or not removed, but is redundant. So we'd have to retarget them. Even better, I'm gonna show you an example of this in action. So if I go and find a block ID, so let's say this here, and I go into my custom CSS, actually not everyone has that plugin, so let me show you this. Design, custom CSS, that's how we get into there. And then I say hide title, and it's just hiding this block here. So I'd copy that, brackets, and then I'd say display, not. Okay, so that's hidden. Now if I go edit, and then I save that section again, then I remove it, then I add the section back in from save sections, the code is rendered redundant. Now what we want to do, let me exit, is keep that code in situ. Instead of getting rid of the section, what we want to do is just hide it with CSS. So what we would do is use Squarespace Block ID Finder, which is a free Google Chrome plugin, and we would identify the section ID. We would click that to copy, and then what we would do is we'd paste it there, and then we'd open our brackets, and we'd do what we've just done with that block, which is display none and there we can see the section is hidden when you or your client is ready to push forward with the section what we do is we simply get rid hit save and we've got the section plus all of the code still active within that section so those are your two options you can pick whichever works best for you if you found this code useful please make sure to leave a like Hit subscribe and check out all of the Squarespace resources down below.